Hi everyone, so welcome to the sixth session of Tricks and Jugards, right? Now let's move the questions. This is my brief introduction. Without wasting time, let's move to the first question, correct? So the first question is CAD 08 question. Going slightly backwards, we'll do uh, last two, three years also. Just hold on, but this is a good question, so I thought we should opt it right because now uh, this question was taken in one of the conch, uh, question of the day also you must have been uh, solve it now i'll only tr do the normal trick correct the basic trick shortcut correct now in such kind of question whenever uh, certain number of terms are given right so we talked about n remember that put the value of n accordingly uh, can put the values of n in the options and check the option uh, answer correct but now, uh, because n is not there, so obviously we can talk about uh, general term in terms of number of terms also. Correct. Let me explain you. Aise to baat karna ho Suppose, again, there had been one term only. So that would be what? 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 by 4. Correct. So that is what? Root of uh, 2 plus 1 by 4 is 9 by 4. Or 3 by 2. So, if there had been only one term, the sum of terms would be 3 by 2, correct? Now, look at the options. All the options are in the form of something minus 1 upon something. So, if I want to write this number as something minus 1 upon something, how do we write it, right? 3 by 2 can be written as 2 minus 1 by 2, correct? So, now think, if there had been only one term, the sum would be 2 minus 1 by 2. How many terms are there? He started with 1, goes till 2007. So if there had been only one term, answer would be this. If there had been 2007 terms, answer should be 2008 minus 1 upon 2008. Straight away you can find the answer. This is called generalization of the concept, correct? Are we clear? If there had been only one term, answer should be 2 minus 1 by 2. Now we have 2007 terms, so answer should be 2008 minus 1 upon 2008. If you are not much convinced, let's try to find out one more term. So second term will be what? 1 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 9 will be equal to what? Root of 9 will be uh, 9, sorry, 36. Let me write it here. 36 plus 9 plus 4, correct. So, it will be uh, 49 upon 36, that is 7 by 6. And we are talking about sum of two terms. So, we are talking about 3 by 2 plus 7 by 6, right, which is nothing but 6 and it will be what? Uh, 339 plus 7, 16 or basically 8 by 3 can be written as 3 minus 1 upon 3. So, I hope now it is very much clear. If there had been only one term, sum should be this. If there had been two terms, sum should be this. You just need to do n plus 1. So for 2007 terms, answer is this. Clear? So this is the first jugad. Let's move on to the second one. Uh, hemisphere slash semicircle. It's actually semicircle. Uh, we are talking about... Uh, a certain uh, uh, era I mean when the questions are not outside correct so it was like that only that there was a hemicircle or semicircle but when you talk about the uh, right triangle triangle so it has to be hemis uh, semicircle only so forget about this correct so there is a semicircle is inscribed in right angle triangle at right angle at O sorry A the center of the semicircle O lies on BC such that BO is to OC is equal to M is to N. Find the area of the region between vertex A and the semicircle. Now see again we have M and N in, in the question in the option also. So let's safely assume value as 1 is to 1. Correct. So basically we are saying that O is the midpoint of BC. So now if I made a semicircle with center O. And we have a, a right triangle like this. So 
सो बिकॉज एम इज टू एन इज वन इज टू वन हेयर सो ऑब्वियसली ये मिड पॉइंट होगा इट विल बी मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस एंड मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस देर इज अमेट्री राइट सो वैन यू ड्रॉप अपर पेंडिकुलर फॉर्म वर्ट एक्स इट विल ड्रॉप ऑन द सेंटर ओ करेक्ट यू नीड टू फाइंड एरिया बिटवीन ए एंड द सेमी सर्कल सो बेसिकली वी नीड टू फाइंड दिस नाउ क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल इफ यू ड्रॉप अर पेंडिकुलर फॉर्म ओ दिस विल बी रेडियस ऑफ द सेमी सर्कल एंड ऑब्वियसली इट विल बी ए स्क्वायर देन because of symmetry again because this is 45 this is 45 right this is also 45 45 so it will be a square so i need to find area of this so i need to do uh, area of uh, apoq uh, minus area of uh, this part correct 1/4 of the circle so i need just need to find oq radius of the uh, semi circle then so if this is one this is obviously 45 so ye bhi one ho jayega aapka ao will be one only Correct. So if this is one, this is one. This is forty-five. This is also forty-five. Uh, so one and one using Pythagoras, AC will come out as root two. Or because of forty-five, ये उसका half होगा. That is one by root uh, root two by two. Correct. That is one by root two. And again, because of this forty-five, this is also one by root two. We can prove it with other method also. Correct. so radius is coming as uh, 1 by root 2 correct so now we need to find what basically we have a, a square now and a one fourth part of a circle so we need to find this this is 1 by root 2 and uh, we need to find area of this so area of uh, uh, square will be 1 by root 2 ka square minus 1 fourth of circle that is 1 by 4 of pi 1 by root 2 ka square so you can see 1 by 2 will be common here and 1 minus pi by 4 that's your answer correct basically this can be done in an easy method also and manner also right now i just need to think that when you put m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 1 in the options my answer would be this so obviously 1 minus pi by 4 should be there so this could be my answer this could be my answer this is ruled out this is ruled out and when you put m and n as 1 1 this also gives you 1 by 2 and this also gives you 1 by 2 so we have two options which gives you this value now i need to play logically okay think again uh when you find area of something so unit of area is what unit square centimeter square meter square aise kuch aayega na so aapka when you talk about terms that also gives you a term which gives you a unit square so suppose n is in centimeter so this is centimeter square and denominator is also centimeter square so when you divide this it will give you common ratio it will not give you any unit so ruled out this gives you centimeter is to power 4 in the denominator numerator sorry and centimeter square here effectively you get semi centimeter square so definitely my answer hoga If you have done physics in your eleven, ten, twelve class, you are more clear with this concept, correct? Unit should be same, right? All right. Moving to the last question. Now this is an easy one. For, uh, last year, I guess, CAT twenty twenty, twenty twenty one, or maybe twenty twenty. Yeah, so it will be there. So for real x, uh, the maximum possible value of this is. okay so if i simply put x equal to 1 this gives you what 1 upon root 2 so obviously i am getting 1 upon root 2 as the answer right which is basically 1 point 1 upon 414 or you can say root, root 2 upon 2 or basically 1.4 upon 2 that is 0.7 so i am getting one of the answer as 0.7 so ye to aana hi chahiye na right so think on this This is I am getting one by two is zero point five, and this is more than that. So obviously this cannot be my maximum value. This is what root three upon three, one point seven upon three will be definitely uh, less than this, and I am getting this value. Correct, getting the logic. So this is also ruled out. The so only option left is one. So either answer is one upon root two or one. So suppose if I do it uh, reverse. Suppose x upon root one plus x to the power four should be one. 
in that case what x is equal to root of this and squaring both sides gives you and solving it gives you x to the power 4 minus x square uh, plus 1 is equal to 0 right so if you see the discriminant of this number is b square 1 minus 4ac is 3 4 sorry minus 3 so obviously this equation has uh, imaginary roots so when you put this equal to 1 you are not getting any value that means this is not possible so straight away answer is this although this question is anyway not tough if you do it logically also but suppose if you are not able to solve it in the exam you are uh, having second thoughts on how to solve it and all then this could be one of the approaches correct I hope it is clear. All right. Okay then. So this is the three question for today. We'll see you again. Bye bye. Thank you.